Okay, gentlemen, let's talk percentages. I'm really excited about this because I quite like this area of maths. Um, and some people are struggling with it. So you can see on the screen, I've just written down there, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus is selling for $899. I just snippied that from the JB website. And the question says, work out what the discount would be if there was a sale that offered 10%, 25%, 75%, 8%, and 17%. So basically the question is asking us to work out what 10% of 899 is, 25%, 75, 8, and 17. Um, the first three are what we call sort of slightly easier ones. And a lot of people have been asking myself and Miss Lee for help on the ones like D and E. So this might be a slightly long video. I'm going to go through all of the working out and how to calculate all of those. So if you want to skip ahead, feel free to do so. Um, I, I hate the look of the headset at the moment, but it's just the best way to get the best possible audio quality. My stylus has been mucking up too, so apologies if my working out isn't what it should be. And if you still need help for percentages, please come and speak to me. We can do it in person if that helps, but hopefully you get something out of this video. So let's do the first one. In terms of question A, working out what 10% of $899 is, it's a little bit hard to show working out, but if we're working out 10%, Basically, what we want to do is just take our total and then divide it by uh, 10. Because if we divide it by 10, that's how we work out 10%. It's nice and easy. So in terms of working out, all that you really need to do is put it in a nice number sentence, 899 divided by 10. And remember, an easy way to remember how to divide by 10, because we're dividing by, um, there's one zero here. If you pretend that there's a decimal point here, which there very well could be, when we divide by 10, the decimal point just shifts one place to the left. So 10% of $899 is equal to $89.90. Now, working out 10% is quite simple. A couple of people have asked, how do you show working out and proof? If that's all you've got, then I think that's fine. Um, for a lot of them, if you know what 10% is, you can easily then work out something like 40% or 30%. So if you did need to work out what 40% was, you would take your $89.90 that you know 10% is, and then you would multiply it by four to get to 40%. So it's pretty easy to do stuff like that. Um, you just shift the decimal place. I'll try to leave all my work out on the screen, but if I pause and you need to rewind and do whatever, feel free to, obviously. For a question like B, when we're working out 25%, we know that 25% is equal to one quarter, which means if we take our total and divide it by four, we'll have one quarter, and therefore we would have worked out what 25% is. The easiest way to do that um, is using an algorithm. Now, remembering one of the learning goals was you need to be able to do this without a calculator. So all of my working out, all of my explanations here without a calculator. So let's put out $899 and let's divide it by four and work through how we normally would. Um, if we're doing division four going into um, eight, that will, four will go in there twice because four times two is eight with no remainder. Four into nine will go twice with one remainder. And then four into 19 will go four times and then there's a remainder here. Um, what's the remainder? 16, 19 take away 16 is three. So it's remainder three. But because we're talking dollars and money, we can actually make work out what this three quarters is as cents. Um, the way that I like doing that is to put a decimal and add two zeros and then keep regrouping. So what did we have left over? Three left over. So we're now dividing 30 by four. 30 divided by four, um, what will that be? Four nines are 36, that's too many. Four sevens are 28, so it will go decimal seven times with two remainder, and then four will go into 25 times with no remainder. So 25% of our total of our phone is $224 and 75 cents. Now in terms of that as a division problem, I would say that's fairly tricky, but it's something that you should know how to do now. Um, a lot of people got stuffed up on that practice test because 
with their remainder, they didn't then convert it to a decimal. And if we are doing dollars, your answer kind of has to be as a decimal. So that's 25%. Now I want to see if I can leave all of that on the screen and work out C for you. Because if we know what 25% is, we should be able to work out what 75% is. Um, I can see it all coming together. I've got a guest here. We'll see if he, he's talking early. We'll see if my guest knows what to do. Hey, Buzz, do you know what to do to work out 75%? That's not what you do, that's not even maths. Thanks for nothing. To work out 75%, what we would do is, we know that 25% is $224.75, and we worked that out by dividing by four. So what we can do, we know that 75% is equal to three quarters. We know that one quarter is $224.75. So we can take that number, Divide that by three to give us our three quarters, and we should have the answer. So three fives are 15, carry the one. Three sevens are 21, add the two is 22. Three times four is 12, add two is 14, carry the one. Three times two is six, and one is seven, and three times two is six. So I've just worked out that 75% is $674.25 sense. Now let's do some of the hard stuff because working out something like D and E is literally a little bit tricky. Literally, I don't know what I'm saying. So let's do E first. E is we need to work out 8%. Now that is very, very simple to do, but it involves two steps. Step number one is we need to work out what 1% of our total is. And we can work that out. 1% of $899 is equal to if we take 899 and we divide it by 100, whatever that number is, that's going to be 1% because percentages are out of 100. Now, when we divide by 100, it's the same rules as dividing by 10, except this time because we have two zeros, we need to move our decimal place over two spaces to the left. So 1% of 899 is going to be equal to $8.99. Now that we know 1%, we can easily work out 8% if we take that number and multiply it by 8. So let's put, let's get my face out of the way and put it over on the phone. And let's do $8.99 and let's multiply it by 8. Oh, I'm not good at my 8 times table, so we'll see how we go. 8 times 9 is 72. Put the 2 down and regroup the 7. 8 times 9 is 72. Plus 7 is 79. Regroup the 7, put down a decimal. 8 8s are 64, and 64 and 7 is 71. So we've just worked out that 8% of the total is $71.92. Now, for solving E, you can do it two ways. If you're good at um, double, double digit multiplication. I had a minor pause for a second there, just like I've done again. So if you wanted to do that, because we know that 1% is $8.99, you could just do $8.99 and multiply it by 17. But I actually find that to work out something like this, it's better to do it in two steps. So I like to split 17% into 10% and 7%. So if you take your $899, it's really easy to work out what 10% is equal to, because we just moved the decimal place over one. So 10% is $89.90. And then to work out 7%, we know that 1% is $8.99. And if we multiply that by seven, then we'll have the 7% and we'll just add those numbers together. Because I love doing maths, I'm just gonna do it. Nine times seven is 63, regroup the six. Nine times seven is 63 and six and nine and six is 69, regroup the 6, 8 times 7, I always forget, I think it's 56, plus 6 is going to get us to 62, so 7% is $62.93, that's 7%, and if we add those two together, $3.99. 
3 and 0 is 3, 9 and 9 is 18, carry the 1, put the decimal down, 9 and 2 and 1 is 12, 8 and 6 is 14 and 1 is 15, 17% is equal to $152.83. So calculating percentages, it can be a little bit tricky, but as long as you know how to divide by 4 or divide by 10 or divide by 100, then you should be able to work out anything. It will take a little while. This video has taken me 10 minutes to do, but I really hope that people are feeling more confident about it. It's so simple that even a dog 